Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to uh, do a little review of Redwood Empire. Yeah, so this is a little mom and pop small distillery out in California. Um, I don't actually think they're making their own stuff. I think it's all being, well, I, 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 they are making their own stuff as in the recipe, but I think Barstown Bourbon Company is actually the ones making all of it. Yeah, are they? I think so. Yeah. Uh, not host that. But anyways, it's, yeah. It's kind of a secret. But they don't really let you know who they're really distilling yeah, I for. I, I don't know. I, I just think they're the ones who are actually yeah. making it in mass quantities because, you know, that's what Barstown does. But anyways, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, these are their three kind of like entry-level expressions. Uh, you have the Pipe Dream, which is the bourbon. That's the one that he's Pipe holding Dream. there. Yep. The Emerald Giant, which is the rye. And then you have the uh, old uh, Lost Monarch, which is the uh, blend of the <clears throat> bourbon and rye recipe. So apparently we're starting off with the uh, bourbon first. Yeah. So we just thought we'd kind of review these because honestly, the, the whole main reason why I picked these three up a while back is because of the bottle itself. I don't know of any other expression out there that has better artwork for it. No, they're like, not. Like, they're, they're just wild it's just a, looking. Just, a, just totally different. Yeah. You know, and they got a nice little story where it's like something like, you know, for every bottle they sell or something like they plant like a new tree or something. An angel gets its wings. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Something like that. Something along those lines. And then also, I th if I if I was reading the website correctly, maybe I was, maybe I wasn't, The all these bottles are named after Redwood's... Uh, out somewhere in California. So where these actual bottle names are named after a tree, if I understand it correctly. It's a beautiful story. Yeah. <clears throat> so anyways, talking about the pipe dream a little bit more before we start into the tasting. Uh, this is a 90 proof bourbon. It's aged, I think they said between like four and 12 year old bourbon or something. I Whatever, something like that. Yeah. Mash bills, 75% corn, 21% rye, and like 4% malted barley. So, and I don't know what the price of these are. Like uh, 40, 50 bucks or yeah, something? Yeah, somewhere. Something like that. There. So. Just depends on where you get them. Yeah. As always. True. So, man, right off the bat, that's a whole lot of corn. Like a sweet corn to it. Yeah, you the, the sweet corn for sure. I would say if they're blending this with some 12-year-olds, not a lot. <laughs> yeah. Because you're getting a lot of youth to it as well. Also getting like a popcorn note. Good old popcorn. Good old popcorn. Is that Orville? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Orville really makes a good popcorn. I'm not really a big popcorn guy. Mm. If I'm being honest, just, I love it's just not my not my thing. Yeah. You know, I'm getting a lot of sugar off that. Just like a whole lot of like sweetness to it, but it's not like a candy sweetness. Yeah. Or like a like a no, dessert just, kind of sweetness. Just, just <clears throat> got a little sweet to it. Yeah. A little sugar. Yeah. The sugars. <laughs> so that's the that's diabetes for you <laughs> folks that don't know. <laughs> yeah, the diabetes. Um, but yeah, it's um, you get a little bit of like orange as well to it. And then the, the citrus, yeah, I definitely tastes the cit like, yeah, that. But it's not a lot of finish. Not not really. No. The finish is like there and then gone, like yeah. real quick. Which is probably for this price point and for this type of bottle, it's probably on point for what it should. And be. for the proof of it as well, like, yeah, I true. wouldn't expect it to stay very long. That's not it, bad. No, yeah. I think it's really good though. Yeah, like it's it's really is not super complex at all like no. you get like a little bit of like oak to it yeah a little bit of oak. like a little bit of oak but yeah it's like just real simple <clears throat> and easy and straightforward it's yeah. not bad yeah all right here comes my favorite style the old the rye. rye so hey, listen i'm opening my i'm opening myself up that's true um, so so this is the emerald giant uh all it just like it's uh i guess Brother, predecessor, however we want to word that. It's a 90 proofer as well. You'll notice that all of these are going to be 90 proofers. Uh, the age is somewhere between three to five years, if I if I remember correctly. And the mash bill for it, I think, is like 
a 95% rye, like 5% malted barley. Like it's like super high <clears throat> yeah. rye. Um, so, and, I, and again, I think price points around these like 40, 50 bucks, something like that. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, like right off the bat. I, I already feel like this is not going to be your jam. <laughs> <laughs> And I say this because, like, I'm as I'm sitting here on the nose, it's just such a strong traditional rye nose, like just a ton of your just traditional like mint, spice, yeah. earth notes. Um, my 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 sniffer is going to be off a little bit today because I <clears throat> I feel a lot of congestion today, so I'm going to depend on you for the nose for most <laughs> of it. And, I, and it just kind of hit me that like I'm kind of congested a little bit. I can definitely smell like the the apple in there. Yeah, uh, that's the one thing that's coming through really well. Through yeah, that. I was literally gonna say with this, you know, this. I mean, this is just a traditional rye kind of profile for me in the sense of you, like I was saying before, you get the rye spice and stuff. Yes, you get the. But rye. It, it's not you get like, a little bit of citrus in there. Yeah, too. I you, taste that. You do get a little bit of that as well. But talking about the apple, it's. I don't really get so much of the apple on the palate, um, but I get more of that on the nose. But it's not like a traditional like apple, <clears> like, <throat> a, like something you go buy from a store. It's like you walk into like an apple or walk yeah. into, yeah, walked over to an apple orchard, and it's like you know like when apples like hit the ground. Oh yeah, and you just kind of got that smell of it. Like they're I don't know what they're doing, fermenting or rotting or whatever they're doing. It's kind of like that. That's kind of what I'm getting with that on the nose. The citrusy. And, I, and it's it does. It's got some earthiness to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely does. But it's not anything, <clears throat> as I'm saying all this with like the rye to it, though, it's not, I think because it's a little bit lower proof, it's not hitting you in the yeah, face. Yeah, this is it. not as offensive as most, <laughs> as most <laughs> rye's are to me. No, it's actually really good. No. I imagine this is a fantastic like cocktail mm. kind of mixer with that. Because, you make a good old-fashioned with this. Oh, right? yeah. I imagine yeah. crush. Yeah. That's not the worst rye I've ever had. Yeah. All right. And then the last one. This is the uh, Lost Monarch. And this is their bourbon and rye blend. So I th believe this is going to be like a 60% rye and a 40% bourbon blend of literally these two. So so we could have saved money and just mixed these two. <laughs> exactly. That's what you could do. If you can't find that, go get that. And then boom. That's what you get. So... Again, I think I think this is actually a little bit more, if I remember. I think it's like around 50 60 bucks, if I remember seeing this correctly. Yeah. By the way, go ahead and put in the comments right now what the price actually is, because we could be totally way off, because I'll be honest with you, I forgot to look all that up. <clears throat> I haven't Wait. looked at it in a while either. I, you know, you see it quite a bit, but yeah, I'm not. So, but this is honestly the one um, that a lot of people went crazy for when it first came out. Yeah. Um, I... When I first had it, it was not my favorite of the three, but we will, we will see. Never can tell. So this right off the nose though is awesome, and I can't really smell a whole lot of it. <laughs> so, so like, get, I think I smell. Uh, you're getting like an orange vanilla, like it, it's like some kind of mix there. Yeah, it's really good. Maybe like a little like. Maybe like a little bit of like an orange peel. So, but yeah. I feel like it's a kind of a lot like the pipe dream, honestly. And it's it's got a little sweetness to it on that first drink. It doesn't really have much, there ain't much finish in it. Like, it, there's not much going on there. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I mean, I don't think any of these have long finishes, to be honest with you, which is yeah. something that I, I always look for, just because I always I'll be honest, I, like, I, like, sweetness is is the over overwhelming yeah, I don't, flavor to it. Like, it's I just sweet to me. Yeah, I, I don't remember this one being as sweet as what it was last time. I, like I said, I remember it's this one. It's been open for a while, though. So. It, it has. It's been open <laughs> yeah. for, for a couple months, where it's been about that much air and stuff into it, and it's opened up, obviously. And I'll be honest with you, 
I think this was like my second or third favorite. Now I think it's my favorite. Just from trying it. I, I, I like I it. I, I think mean, it's great. I mean, if you're just wanting to sit down with something and just not not feel the burn of, of a high proof. Yeah. Well, you just get a lot of like sweet corn from it yeah. with like a smidge of spice. And you, you're also getting like a little hint of like maple in there, I think. And it's just, it's really good. It's just, it's it's really opened up. It's really evolved. So, yeah, by far, that's... Um, that's good. Yeah, I think that's definitely good. I like my, that a lot. Favorite. You know, like I said, it doesn't stay with you very long, but I like it. No. No, I agree. good. I'd say for all of them, I mean, I'd, they're worth getting. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I think all three of them are really great, honestly. For um, the price point, I mean, you're definitely, like, they're oh, good ones yeah. to have at, yeah. at, at the price point. So. And also, just a lot of people just don't have them. <clears throat> like, a lot of people, I don't yeah. think, talk about them enough. Um, yeah. You know, I don't think they're available everywhere, but they're getting better. Yeah. But, the, you know. Well, I would, I mean, they're like a small distillery. Sure. A mom and pop place. So, sure. I would I would think that they would be hard to keep up. Yeah. So. So. But all in all, I think they're good. Yeah. And I would go, if I had to pick an order which ones I would definitely want to own, I would definitely go with Lost Monarch, Pipe Dream, and Emerald Giant. Uh, very rarely do we agree 100%. But I'm gonna go ahead and agree with that. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Uh, so. For sure. Yeah. That'd be my call. All right. Tell them where they can find us. So you can find us on YouTube. Uh, obviously, that's where you're currently at right now. Hit, yeah. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button, and uh, leave us a comment. Tell us uh, if you've had them before. If you've had any of the other expressions from uh, Redwood Empire, and just uh, yeah, let us know if you agree or disagree with our order as well. Uh, once you've done that, go ahead and go over to our Facebook channel or Facebook page and uh, give us a like over there. Where we try to post updates of any kind of content that we're doing or if we find any kind of rare allocations. So, Or even if we just happen to be in a store and we see something that's not necessarily rare, but it's things that people want. Like the other day, I posted um, one about the barrel proof sure. uh, from Elijah Craig. Sure. People like that, and they Liquor Barn had three or four of them, and so I posted a picture of it. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. So... Well, cool, man. Yep. That was good. I like that. Awesome. So, till the next time, we'll see you.